Momo back with new tutorial that is simple baby sun dress. Today we are going to teach you or give you a tutorial for simple baby sun dress that is for 4 year girl. We are live on Facebook so you can ask any question or request your desired pattern or desired dress. This tutorial is no pattern tutorial. Now I'm gonna start with the cutting. This is the piece of fabric which is going to distribute in two pieces that is for a bodice part and the skirt part. I have taken 14 inch measurement and cut the skirt piece slightly. And for a width seam it will be 16 inch total in total. Now I'm going I'm measuring the uh, waist of the bodice that is 12 inch. Do need to see it very carefully for cutting steps because it just has no sewing, uh, no pattern involved. This is the three inch neckline, and I have marked it. And now this is two point five inch side line. The measurement is uh, in the side, and now I'm making the arc for armhole. This is the armhole which is base, uh, which is depending on neckline and sideline uh, side so you need to focus it very carefully if you didn't uh, got this step repeat the video now. This is the final piece of fabric the final piece of cutting which is in total 22 inch and 2.5 or 2 inch is the strap size. now we start with the sewing thing right now we are making the front lace part I'm I have taken the two lace and, uh, and a bias tape and attaching and in between the bias tape I'm just attaching uh, the lace on one end and the on the other hand in the length size my lace is one end embroidered and other is for hamline you can also use double double sided embroidered lace so you don't need a bias step it's just uh, it's just for a decoration purpose or a beauty purpose so you can make it as yourself this is the this is the front bodice part and I'm going to attach the prepared lace part over it and remember the dresscraft.com visit us and the dress and pattern and different tutorials over there galleries we are just exploring the world of sewing in the blog level because we already have so much of information regarding sewing so you just need to dive it and just ask the question request us communicate with us so we can deliver you better and better things so visit dresscup.com like our facebook page follow us on twitter instagram and on different levels now the the front part is almost done i'm just finishing up the lace and bodice attachment this is the strap process this is the strap step what I'm going to do is here I'm taking a one half inch elastic and fold it under the strap and just making a single hem line in the center of the bias tape why I'm saying it bias tape because it is so wider so I can call it bias strap or strap dress or strap it doesn't matter for me but you can consider it as a strap because we are going to use it as a shoulder strap so over here This is the second strap. I'm doing the, the same philosophy over here. Swing so just need a simple philosophy. You don't need a oops. You don't need a 
something very superficial or there is no end thing you must need a chance to give yourself again and again it's just a matter of experience and matter of practice I'm measuring the bicep strap length that should be 2 or 2.5 inch and according to your customization you can dictate a longer shoulder length both should have the same size after fold now I'm attaching the bass tape over front body space now you can see that, that that this is the so unfinished thing so i am going to finish it with the under stitch bodice which is going to be the covering the or strap very easily you can see it cover the my straps and make it strong seal after doing under stitch this is my tip I'm always cut it so it will become more easy to fold see this is where it become very easy I'm just taking out my back step and it will become very strong This is the front piece. Now I'm going to start the finishing of the front piece, doing the final hemline over under stitch piece. It needs because after doing under stitch, it becomes unturned or fluffy sort. So we need to finishing up the things with the final layer of fine sewing. This is done from for front and part at least. Now for back part, I'm just going to do quick work and doing under stitch and strap sewing together you can see that I've placed the strap the front piece the back piece the strap and the under seam under stitch fabric the second strap I'm just making the thing that it should be equivalent, not more than that, otherwise, it will be unequivalent. Just finishing with the things that uh, doing the under stitch plus a strap, there, plus a strap a stitch. Again, I'm doing marking the cuts or doing the cuts, um, and then it will be more visible after fold. And after fold, it will not seem fluffy, but still it seems fluffy. So we do, we does, or we does final stitch on the hemline. See this? Uh, this it's very unfinished looking very unfinished so I'm going to do a stitch now what I'm going to do I'm just
attaching the both sides and you need to see it very carefully because this is the most tricky part and if you guys didn't get this part let me know and request so I can do this for you see what did I do this thing you can see it. after folding it it will become very nice and precise okay see this again I'm taking the back part and front part together and the back uh, and the one part of the back is going to cover the front board part I'm going to do a stitch over there which has become sideline I'm again saying this is the most tricky part of the frog so you can ask me if you didn't get the point I will make the video for it Now this is just the finishing of the things and this is the hemline and a stitching work. Under stitch is something very different technique of sewing. If you are not on the intermediate level, you can't grab the idea what is going on. If you are not on the intermediate level and you didn't get what is going on with under stitching thing and I'm just covering it and folding it let me know i'm going to give you a proper tutorial for it i'm just finishing up the all the under steam under stitch thing and doing the final hemline this is my bodice look like isn't it beautiful color combination now I'll start with the skirt. The skirt is the most easiest thing in the world and I'm going to do this and uh, firstly we are going to see the side line. If you have cut your skirt among two fabrics then you need to do a, a side line. I do twice a side line because you just have the on the left on the right if you just make it in a one go then you just need a single series side line I have made it in under the two fabrics so I need to sew along I need to sew it in a two way in two direction in the left on the right then the left side seam and then the right side seam So I am just doing I just fold the bottom and doing the bottom hemline you can also see the lace with it or attach the bias tape with it or just do a, an overlock with it it's completely up to you how fancy you need a frog or how casual you need a frog I made it casual but I have put some focus on bodice part so it will look from the usual sundresses see creativity is in your mind you need to do creative when you are doing sewing and you need to have some the skills that you need to give chance to yourself again and again because sewing needs lots of practices lots of determination lots of creativity and lots of experiences you just can't do that I have just done the one time if it didn't work I didn't do it again this is not going to happen if you are going to say that that didn't choose the sewing field now this is what I'm doing I'm just uh, giving gathers with simple thread over top hemline which is going which is soon going to attach with the bodice part
we are done with skirt 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 gathers and now we are attaching the border the front the prepared border borders not front borders but the skirt and we just need a singular hemline or double hemline you can see what i'm doing over here I have put the front bodice seam line, side seam line over skirt side seam line and start sewing after matching them in a proper alignment. We are about to complete this press. If you have any questions, queries, and or you want to send any requests, you can tell us our comment in the below Facebook comments box. Or you can also watch this video on YouTube because I'm going to upload it on it on YouTube as well. And if you want to ask any question, you can ask. Uh, I'm. It is not a pattern dress. This is no pattern dress, so you need to be very careful regarding the thing and uh, do little bit attention over under stitch visit our portal that is discraft.com follow us on instagram pinterest twitter facebook tumblr there's so many places i can tell you but right now and for patron if you need to buy any patron i'm going to shop over i have mentioned already mentioned on facebook page as well or you can ask you can request any patron which i can meet for you and soon i'm going to tell you how to grade your patrons and uh, how to make your own pattern your, your own custom pattern which i have already made in the form of uh, pajamas pjs and uh, simple skirts and different things but uh, still person still someone needs they can tell me and this is the final version of the sundress oh i forgot something i just need to finish up the What I have doing over here, I have just forgot to do that. It is that, that after stitching, after stitching skirt and bodice, I need to do finishing line from the top upper side or the front side of the bra. This is called the flashing line, which we have done on under stitch as well, if you remember. So, guys, hope you like this video. We are about to complete this dress. If you have any question, please ask us. Follow us and subscribe to us on YouTube, and ask any dress that you I can make for you guys, and spread your love on us. And thank you so much. Bye.